I don't even want to talk about it. Like, the kids are going to be so disappointed. It's actually over. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got here. What am I going to do now? Got my wooden hand. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Ah, what are you? I can't even I'm tell you. Okay. Ta-da! We should just put our. Mm, mm. Seems like a good spot. <laughs> so I wanted to do this video because I want to talk to the internet about something that I guess you could say is sad to me. Let's go. Let's go have a seat. Come on. The thing is, is we've been on tour for a really long time. May, June, July, August, September. We're going home in October. So I mean, six months. We've been on tour for half of the year. Wow, that's crazy. And we only have nine more left on this leg. By the time tonight's show's over, we only have eight more left. We have about a three week break before the UK. Then we have about a two month break before Australia. Like I've seen the dancers every day for seven months straight and like, it's so weird, it's almost like we're like moving out. It's really sad. I'm gonna miss everyone. Oh, also, by the way, I know this video was title and thumbnail, like, mm, it's over, the bow is gone. You guys, here's the thing. I do that same prank almost every year on April 1st for April Fools, but here's what you gotta learn. She always wears her bow, like, yeah. even if the camera's not on, she's always wearing her bow. Thank you for explaining it. Like, what's gonna happen in my life is like, this whole video like was like, I wanted to trick you guys like it's the end of me being me basically. But the thing is, is there's never going to be that just like moment when I wake up and I'm like, I don't like wearing a bow anymore. Get it out of my hair. Like that's never gonna happen. I love wearing my bow and I love being me and that's why it works out so well and that's why I, I love it so much and I keep doing it every single day and that's why I've been on tour for the past seven months and why I've been singing my songs and why I've been wearing my gigantic bow that weighs nine pounds in my head. Seriously, look at this thing, wait for it. This is a bow that I wear on stage and this is a normal bow. Look at that, it, oh, that's cute. But like the thing is, is there's never just gonna be like that, oh I'm done being Jojo because like then I'd just be like, I'm done being myself. See, I wanna do a video where I'm sad about something, but I knew to have it make sense for you guys that I had to be sad about something in the title that the video would be totally different about. So by the title and thumbnail of this video, y'all thought I was getting rid of my bow. Gotcha. But um, what it actually is about is how tour is almost over. It's a, uh, it's sad. It's kinda like the last day of school. And then Worse gonna... than that. Like we live together. That's true. That we all true. live together yeah. right now. Like it'd be like, if your best friend was moving away from your school and like you were literally not gonna see her again, but then like in three weeks she was taking like a vacation to see you again, but then like it was only for like a week long, and then in like three months her parents decided, you know what, we're gonna go back, you know, it was a bad change, so then she comes back to the school that you're at, and then she <laughs> <laughs> That's making sense to no one. Every single day is just so fun. Like every single day we just play. We run around, we ride scooters around the venue. Like we just have fun. Okay, let's see what these two are up to. Hello. I wonder who. <laughs> How's it going? What's up? The switch is like behind me. Oh, I'm it. a genius. Um, hey guys, I have a question for you. Okay. Are you sad about the end of the tour? Oh, I'm so sad. Horrible. Here, I'll cover you guys. What was your favorite memory from tour? Honestly, I think the first arena that that's night. That's what I thought. It was that like, was so fun. It was so cool. That I said the first arena and when I fell. You liked that? Yeah. <laughs> of course you I, did. Of course I did. <laughs> this is what I did to my sign today. Because I never wear my credential around the venue. Yeah. This is what I did to my sign today. Because I never wear my credential around the venue. I just kind of go around and sometimes people stop me. And so one of my securities, Jason, made this and I wrote on it that I'm missing and I get a $100,000 reward if you find me. Are you sad about the end of tour? You're always sad at the end of a tour. So you become almost like a family. Exactly. It's like an extended family. So you kind of like get almost depressed when you get home. Yeah. You're in, the, you're in a routine. That's why I feel like I'm gonna be. I feel like I'm gonna be depressed. Yeah, it's okay. gonna happen. All right, Becky, Jimmy. I'm mortified the tour is ending. <laughs> You're mortified. <laughs> By the way, everyone, this is Jimmy. He, Hello. he has a more technical job, but his job is pressing play and pressing stop. Ah, <laughs> oh, push play. All right, well, that was fun.
time, we pretty much checked in with not everybody. We checked in with like four out of 55 people. But it was still fun! Oh, oh you are so sad. We're almost done. We need more! Oh, it's so sad though. Well, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Peace out.